Hey folks, it's the Wizard of Wizard of Mo Games. Today we're at the Wizard's Table and we are going to be unboxing Bag of Dungeon 2, The Cursed Forest. A complete fantasy adventure game for one to four players and an expansion for Bag of Dungeon. This is by Gunpowder Studios and uh, I saw this the other day. It popped up in my feed and I said, well, you know, this looks pretty cool. Um, I was going to get the original, but I think I like the theme and the uh, they modified it a little bit and made it a little bit better with number two. And I'm going to go back and get number one. And they also made uh, an advanced character pack for this. Um, so I'm probably going to end up with all of them. Um, from what I understand, you can play this in the Cursed Forest. And then you can also pull out a tile that will connect it to the original Bag of Dungeon. And you'll be able to work your way through the forest and then work your way into a dungeon for a massive fun time. Um, from what I understand, I've watched a couple of videos on this. It's, uh, it's pretty simple to play. Um, and uh, you basically explore tiles, reveal them, you spend a set number of actions, and then you'll run into monsters. And your goal in this one is to find, I think, four different... Uh, let's see, let's read it. From the makers of Bag of Dungeon comes a new adventure. The once beautiful elven forest of Kalen Tower has become a cursed and poisoned place, full of evil creatures. Dare you enter its deadly realm to seek the ancient maiden tree and lift the curse? Brave adventurers step out of the light and into the dark. Can you save the forest? Bag of Dungeon 2, The Cursed Forest, is a tile-laying fantasy adventure game for one to four players. Build the forest as you go, encounter and do battle with fierce monsters, find weapons, armor, and magic items to aid you, defeat the evil sorcerer, and try not to die. A typical theme. Simple to play, set up in five minutes. Every game is different, with hundreds of combinations of paths, monsters, traps, hazards, and items to discover. A complete adventure, or combined with the original Bag of Dungeon, for an epic journey through two realms. And it shows here a little thing that says, everything fits in the bag. So it looks like there's a monster bag, item bag, and then a tile bag. So you're just going to draw these out. Also notice this note. It says, play one of eight brave heroes. I think there are six or eight in the original box, which will play with this as well. And then they did a upgraded adventurer pack that I think had four or six more that you can get. So let's let's open this thing up and see what's going on with it. All right. Also, I'm still working with my lighting. I got another light box today. Um, so we'll see if that makes a difference in here. A little bit of glare there. All right, so this is a little storybook. It tells about the curse of the forest here. So that's pretty cool. Got a couple of chapters and a little book here. Looks like they've got some little elven writing in there and everything. That's going to be fun to read through. So we'll zoom in here and show you what that looks like. Just like that. And it looks like we have a bag of Dungeons 2 with the Cursed Forest rule book. Uh, I've already seen something I like about this. Um, this is going through, telling you how to play the game, winning and losing fights, uh, poison and healing, inventory management, uh, special tiles, tokens. I think this is what you're after, is these, uh, these four leaves that you're taking, or seeds, that you're taking to the tree to heal it. And it tells about the end of the game. And this shows how you win the game and then how to connect between the forest and the dungeon. There'll be certain tiles that you can use and then um, put the original one into it as well. And uh, the Chronicles of the Ring apparently is a way for you to make this an ongoing campaign um, through the three boxes. Then it shows solo game, combat between adventurers, and 
Then this shows a glossary of all the special items that you can collect and tells you what the icons mean and what you can do with them. Um, but what I did notice initially is this quick play guide on the back of the box or on the back of the rule book there. So it's just grab it and uh, go through it and you are golden. So it looks like we got us a couple of, oh yeah, not just a couple, but a few boards in here. So these are apparently these, these tiles have a path and a direction you're going to put them out and then uh, some of the ones with red I think the vines can grab you or give you poison here's your special stuff that you can get here's the seeds and these are what monsters look like when you go in there you can fight monsters uh, there's a few effect tokens there it looks like this is a dangerous part of the forest there's a seed right here oh and these tell a number f1 f2 f3 f4 f5 so you can keep track of your fights i guess but you can see i'll go through these a little quicker now that there are all kinds of interesting little items in the game these are looks like monsters so the monsters will roll a set number of dice and then add something to it and you will roll a set number of dice and add something to it. But the items you get can give you more dice to roll or add bonuses to your roll. Uh, and I think some of them may even give penalties to the monsters or penalties to you, depending on what they do. And it may be, um, you know, plus or minus dice or plus or minus your additional total. Like this guy, this dark elf, it says two dice plus five. So you're going to roll those. I think there's only four dice in the game. Two for you and two for them. Looks like there's a little ladder there. Here's some spiders and some spider web tiles. Here's some, uh, oh, here's some traps, quicksand. And then uh, here's another spot. Uh, it looks like this guy fell out. That's fine. I'm going to punch them all here in a minute too. So you've got all kinds of stuff. So you've got a starting tile and an exit tile. This is the tree. But you're going to go through, find what you got to find, take them to the tree, and then get out of the dungeon without dying. I think if anyone dies, it's done, um, but I'll have to check and see that. Here's one of those that connects to the other, um, to the other game, because it's all these white block tiles. It's in underground in a dungeon. This looks like a pit that falls down in there. I think the other one was in here somewhere that connects to it. So that's that. Let's see what else we got here. Here's the little bags. And this is funny because uh, I had previously ordered some bags for my Mage Knight. Oh, this one's big. This must be for the tiles. Yeah. So here we go. We got a big bag of Dungeon 2 of Cursed Forest, first edition items and monster bags. These are little velvety drawstring bags. It's really cool. So I think all the stuff will fit into that. So here we have a bunch of little markers. Uh, here we have, oh, it looks like there's more than just two dice. Looks like three green dice and uh, four red dice. And these dice are wooden. I noticed on the outside of the box it said that it was a planet-friendly uh, game. There were no plastic items in it. So... Um, I guess with the exception of these little Ziploc bags and the wrapping around it. And then uh, it looks like you have four adventure tokens. And then that must be the boss, the crazy wizard guy that you're going to fight up against. And then these, let's move these out of the way. These are going to be the characters. Paper. All right. So the half. Okay, so these all have uh, number two on the back of them, like so, so you can randomize them. Uh, Neocore the Half Ogre. Wow, that's cool. Uh, Astasia the Changeling. So, yeah, not typical of... Uh... All right, there's the wizard. So, yeah, they're, they're pretty typical. Here's a hunter... I've never seen a changeling or a half ogre character in one of these games like that. So that's pretty cool. 
Here's Wiseleaf, the guardian. Looks like a treant of some sort. And this is Moonbeam, the fairy. You can play as Tinkerbell. Trig, the rogue. Hi, I'm just a, a thief. It go, go unlock the traps, and if you fail, then we'll go around. All right, and the herbalist. So this is eight that come in this game. And again, if you combine the games, all the characters are interchangeable. So um, hopefully what I'll do is uh, this will play solo, and uh, I'll try to get a video together and show you how it plays. But until then, uh, this thing is available. You can get it from uh, Gunpowder Studios. Uh, they're in the UK. Um, but I think I got mine off of Amazon. For us lucky folks that can do things like that, uh, it shipped and it got here within a couple of days. So um, look forward to doing a video on this, and we'll let you know when it posts. Until then, we're gone.